It's the 3rd of June, exactly 10 days before the most important exam of my entire medical school career up till now. And here I am making YouTube videos. Well, does that mean that YouTube is more important to me than medical school and becoming a doctor? Whoa, well, I'll explain that in a moment. I have to drive safely first and get to the hospital because you need to have some patience. Not much, just a little. Okay, so it's exactly 9 in the morning right now and off. Oh, oh my god. And I have a full day of lectures today. Lectures and seminars and case discussions like from 8.30 till 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Uh, and obviously I won't be attending all of them because you know, you know me, if you're the, if you're a real OG, if you are a real member of the Sapiens tribe, you know, I don't like to attend lectures personally. Uh, but I will be attending some like case discussions and seminars, like more interactive um, types of teaching. This is actually quite annoying at times because our exams are in 10 days and we're still having lectures and seminars. It's so freaking annoying. I mean, it would have been best if we would be done with all these lectures and stuff at least like two weeks before the exam so you can at least get freaking two weeks to you know self-study and just focus on the exam prep you know what is man what is yeah. oh alright guys so we have some exchange students here you know Carl and Jay have seen those before but this is Khalil right here he's from Denmark Denmark the real OG <laughs> Khalil how do you feel about the exam bro? Well, I'm stressed but uh, hydrated <laughs> stress, <important>. but <laughs> stress but hydrated. I think that's gonna help you with the stress. I think so as well. Yeah, you don't need alcohol, you just need water too. <laughs> water is the most important thing, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. So, a really good stress tip from a Danish medical student, drink water. Stay hydrated and that will kill your stress. <laughs> scientific, backed by scientific studies. <laughs> And this is what today's schedule looks like um, a full day all the way from 8 30 till 15 45 so i just attended this one lecture <laughs> in acute abdomen in children now i dished this one will not be attending this and then i will go back and attend the seminar about maternal diseases and pregnancy just kidding <laughs> all right guys now let's talk about something important why exactly am I prioritizing YouTube so much during my exams like 10 days before the exam and I'm sitting here churning out YouTube videos video after video because I've seen so many other medical student YouTubers um, around the globe like in England in, in Canada in Australia and most medical students take a break take a break <laughs> save a seat for me I'm coming yeah yes I'll speak a bit on the camera so I've seen so many medical students take a break and they take that break because they really want to focus on their exams because you know obviously medical school has to be your first priority right and and for me it's a bit different you know first of all the reason why I started YouTube was to document my journey during medical school and I think the most important part of medical school is actually the exams because that's when you sort of progress through all these medical school years right so these exams are the most important part of medical school and this is exactly what I want to document, right? And I think most people who are not in medical school, this is the sort of thing that they want to watch as well. You know, how is life during the exam season? And hence, I don't see the point of taking a break from YouTube just because you have your exams because exams are the most important part of you know medical school and hence you want to be documenting that as much as possible I have many more reasons I will discuss those afterwards because now I have to really rush and hurry to the class the other ones have also already gone That's very Norwegian weather <laughs> anyway we are on our way to training I'll explain the other reasons why I'm making these YouTube videos during my exam season as soon as it stops raining push 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 had a killer workout session with Elma and Khalil, um, two of my classmates and friends. And now let's talk about the other reasons which I've been talking about like so much in this video. So one major reason is that YouTube is all about consistency. You just have to keep posting, keep churning out videos week in and week out. And only I know how hard I worked um, for the past, like during the past couple of years 
for my YouTube channel. And you know, it's it's like, it's my little baby. This channel is like my little, little baby. It's my child, which I have been, you know, sort of nurturing from the very get-go. I've been sort of, you know, helping it. I've been feeding it. I've been taking care of it, you know, doing everything for my channel. It's like my little child, my little baby. So I have not missed a single upload for the past almost two years and youtube is something i've been doing on my own initiative my family my friends nobody is forcing me to do this right but medical school on the other hand the fact that i got into medical school i mean even though i'm very very proud of it it's still just not me i mean there are many other factors to that as well you know having been being blessed with um parents who were also ambitious you know always cared about school grades teachers at school and you know also having sort of a reasonably good background economically which really helped to me to get a good education from the very get-go. So the way I see this is that medical school is not really my own personal achievement. There have been many other factors involved with me, you know, becoming a doctor soon. However, YouTube is completely by my own initiative. Nobody, nobody told me to make a YouTube channel, you know, start churning out these videos. I'm sort of much more proud of the fact that I'm a YouTuber than the fact that I'm a medical student, if that makes sense. And since YouTube values consistency so freaking much, I do not want to, you know, ruin all the hard work that I have put in for the past couple of years by, you know, start by taking a break from YouTube just because I have exams in medical school. And of course, lastly, it's going to be really fun to sort of look back on all these vlogs, you know, all these documented stuff um, in 10 years time when I'm hopefully working as a doctor. Or hopefully I'll be a consultant by then. Uh, so it's going to be really fun to look back upon all the, you know, the entire process for myself as well. Okay, so that's enough of my emotional or deep chat. Let's get back to work because I've got to make some food and get back to studying as well. Here is the link to all the other episodes, other, other, other episodes in this road to medical school exam series. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that, kill that, hit that, punch that subscribe button right now. I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care. Peace. I think I should probably take a shower before making food because I don't want the taste of my sweat to be in the food.